What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. What's cracking, y'all? Back with some Moses Malone content. Now, I'm not going to uh, go into a semi long rant about Moses Malone and, you know, his career, generally his career and his individual accolades and attributes because uh, I've done it before. So you can go check out our Moses Malone playlist to check out our other Moses Malone content. But what I will say is that I've been wanting to get into some more uh, Moses Malone reaction videos, man. Uh, Moses Malone has become one of my favorite centers of all time. I just love how the guy plays, man. I, and it's crazy when I hear people talk about the greatest centers of all time. His name rarely gets mentioned. And I know we've had a lot of great bigs in the history of the NBA. Because you're talking several decades where big men were prioritized. And, you know, every team wanted that big man on their squad. Nowadays, not so much. They don't look for big men anymore. Uh, and when big men were actual big men and played like big men, you know what I mean? Moses Malone was one of them. Like, Moses Malone holds probably uh, just as many records or more records or, you know, very individual and unique records that probably many of your other favorite centers don't have. You know what I mean? Like, Moses Malone was a special player. And when the 76ers got him, that was all uh, they needed. Him and Julius Irving, and they were able to win a championship eventually in 1983. Right. Uh, Moses, uh, like I said, I'm not going to get too deep into it, but he had a complete game, man. He was a bully in the paint. He was a pretty damn good rebounder and he could shoot, man, in isolation with hands in his face. Had a nice stroke, man. And he could defend. Listen, Moses was a beast, man. Moses. Mm, and I didn't even get to watch him play live. That's why he was so mad, man. Like I, these are players that I wish I could have seen play live. You know, I was born in 1987, man. A lot of these guys were on their way out the door, and I wasn't watching basketball at the time. I was a, I was a puppy. You can still, you can still smell the Similac, man, on me. Come on, man. I really wish I could have seen these guys play. For those of you that got to watch basketball in the 70s and 80s and moving on up, and y'all that got to see more of a complete history of the league. Uh, I, I, you know, upfront and personal, I envy you. I want you to know how much I envy you all. I really do. Anyway, I'm going to shut the hell up. Let's get into this video by the NBA channel. Moses Malone, dominant 1983 season with the Philadelphia 76ers. It's only about five minutes long, so let's get it popping. Somebody with Julius. So he needed a little bit of help. This is the man. And he was on a mission. We need one guy who's going to be there for 38, 40 minutes a night. And they got the right man at the right time. A fella by the name of Moses Malone. Fresh to death. Look at him. And here comes Philly. Moses Malone. Woo. Off the dock. He sends it up the air. Didn't get it. Irving has the field beat. Let's... Wilkins slide by. I'm thinking about Moses. Um, that's a dimension that I've never played with in a 12 year career. Driver running to Lava Malone. He's there. He goes up. Double pump scores and he's fouled. Bobby Jones will put it in play. Does to Malone. Moses. Mm. That's the same high lob play they use. Up strong, baby. Julius Irving fakes, hooks it off to Malone. He'll Give me that. Yeah, yeah Malone. Moses Malone backs it home. Tough shot. Chairman of the boards. Yep. Nope. The rebounder in the history of the game. Back Blackman down, takes it into the lane, goes up, and on the rim short. The tap Malone once, twice, three times. It's good. I love the rebound. I love the offensive rebound because I think you put more pressure on another team with the offensive rebound. That's another easy way to score. Trouble, that's the way they're made up. Ivaroni misses outside, tipped in by Moses Malone. Toward the baseline, fires the jumper, and no good. The rebound, Malone back up, good, and he's fouled. No good, following tap, no good. Malone, finally, this will be the fifth tap. And he's averaging almost 16 rebounds a game. Now, he's the best offensive rebounder I've ever seen. Watch the speed, my goodness. 
Oh, Moses Malone on the follow. He's too far under and really hit the bottom of the rim going up. Oh. And he goes back up. We got Moses. He always talked about um, going to work. It's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. It was one of his phrases, time to go to work. And it comes from a, a guy like me that loves to win. You know, I like to win. I don't like to lose. And I think when you work hard, you know, you, you get a much better feeling. Let's see if they take advantage of that matchup. Malone. Philadelphia now, you won't get many second and third chances if you miss. Sweet shot. Maybe that's because you have practices. There it is. Mmm. The baseline goes up, blocked by Malone. Rowan loses the ball. Malone. We've seen Malone do Damn. those different things. Mmm. Look out. Mmm. Good footwork. It's a fadeaway. Yep. Inside the Mo Malone. They worked it beautifully. Yo, that's Philadelphia 76 ers saying was nasty. Thompson, no problem. Look at the pass from Cheeks to Malone. Tony is Chuck made a heck of a pass. And look at the brute strength with Moses Malone. Reporters come to you and say, Moses, what do you think about the playoffs coming up? And all you say is four, four, four. Where did that come from? Because I won 12 games, man. I won't get this four. on. <laughs> Into Julius against King. Big away. Oh! Malone goes in and gets the basket. Oh! Inside to Hartwright. Inside by Moses Malone. That is how you can handle a double team. You know? Youngsters, watch. Malone uses his body and gets the point. So Moses Malone gives Philadelphia their first lead of the ball game with a screen from Bobby Jones. Clint Richardson misses, but Malone tips it in over Abdul Jabbar. He is not to be stopped, and he is determined. Into Kareem, knocked away by Cheeks and a steal. Cheeks will use up the clock. Go to Malone, and that may do it. And look at the Sixer bench. And Billy's done it, finally. Moses Malone did what Philadelphia wanted him to do. Moses Malone, so underrated, criminally underrated. Like that's that Sixers team was a beast. That Eastern Conference back in the '80s was a beast. Much respect to anybody coming out of that Eastern Conference to represent the East in the finals, man. Seriously, compared to the East, the West definitely was a bit of a cakewalk, man. We just gotta call it how it is, man. That Eastern Conference was stacked. It's basically like the equivalent to what the Western Conference was post-Michael Jordan. You know what I mean? Well, post-Bulls Michael Jordan. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most Malone, man. Youngsters, watch some. Go watch all these seven-footers in the NBA today. The Victor Wembanyamas, who's still raw. All you guys that don't have... Same quality of skills that players like Moses Malone and them have. Man, go watch some tape, man. The little things. Watch what these guys do. Watch their, watch how they handle double teams. Watch how they ball fake out. Watch how they dissect defenses. Watch the energy. Watch the heart. Watch the hustle. Watch the rebound. And a guy that wants to get out there and get offensive rebounds. Come on, man. But they love to play the game back then. They loved to play because they wanted to play. They wanted to be great. They wanted to win. They wanted to be the best person they could be. That's something that's lost now. It is, man. Now you got to create tournaments and create all this other crap. Create awards on the fly just to give incentives for players to actually play hard? What? As a fan, boy, I never buy another ticket again. Anyway, y'all let me know what you think about it. What do you think of Moses Malone? Where do you have him ranked all time? And where do, what about uh, as far as centers go? Where do you have him ranked? We'd love to hear your opinion. Share your Moses Malone story with me. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out our Moses Malone playlist. And I'll catch you on the next one. We out, baby.